I get some pretty wild requests sometimes. Like, can you paint my wrap on my truck? And then do a color match on a couple of baits. Yeah, I can do that. Um, takes a lot of work. And just for the record, folks, I'm a landscape artist and I like painting fish and reptiles. That's what I specialize in. Um, big fishing trucks, angling trucks for you guys that are sponsored and getting the wraps. Not, not always the best at it, but um, I've never turned something like that down, especially for people that I'm particularly fond of that have been with me and on board with Jekyll Bates for a long time. And, and Greg is one of those guys uh, him and his wife, Dolly, are just phenomenal people. I love them to pieces. So when he asked, can you paint my truck in a watercolor and then match some baits, I did not turn him down. So this is his old truck. And he's like, just, what do you need? And I said, shoot me a picture of it. I need, you know, I need to be able to do it some justice. So this is a, this is an ink and watercolor on pre-stretched, pre-mashed, cold press, thick paper. Watercolor requires a very thick paper. And he asked me to do two trucks for him and some corresponding baits. So I'll set this down in frame and show you the baits that we did. There's the silver on the truck. So the colors are silver and red and orange, yellow and black. So the black is obviously gonna be the detailing. So we've got silver into orange, into red, yellow on the belly. He said that I didn't have to write the wrap on the bait, which is fantastic because I would not have done that for him anyways. Um, I'm not that good. I'm just not that good, but I can come up with some creative patterns to kind of get him in the right direction where he needs to be. So I'm hoping that he likes this. I liked making it, it was a lot of fun to do. So this is the first one, obviously I did twins and we've got that exposed muscle underneath. It looks like the top of the bait has been ripped apart with the detailing. Yeah, I know this is a long one because I'm home. I mean, it's because we're all home and we're all in our houses and I'm a YouTuber anyway, so why not? So those were fun. And, but that we weren't done. He asked for the newer truck or one of the newer trucks. He actually has a newer than newer truck. Now this is the shadow. And of course I had to, if maybe I'm showing my age. Um, but when I was, when I was a kid, this song was out. And um, yeah, you, if you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm not going to sing it. Um, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Yeah, that's not going to happen. See, I didn't sing. Not really. It's too early in the morning. So this is the second picture. And um, staying in the same frame of mind with these, I did some crazy crappie. These are his blue and brown and white and black crazy crappie that stay with the pattern and the colors on the shadow wrap. With one with blue eyes, one with black eyes. And just did them up on a 2.5 square bill and had a whole lot of fun. Um, these, these took longer obviously than the baits because I'm not used to doing trucks. I do, I'll show you what I do without moving the camera. So this is the type of work that I do on a regular basis for my clients. Uh, fish out of water, all kinds of stuff. There's, there's lots of them. We could spend an entire video on my repertoire of artwork. I've got, uh, I've got a 10 by 30 salmon in process for Tina Lemur up in Michigan. And I've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on as well. I've done all sorts of massive canvases right down to small postcard type stuff. So I just I love art. I always have. So there you go, Greg Gilly. This is a fringe leaf frog. Yes, frogs really look like that. Want to see it? 
There you go. So this is going out this morning, this happy Wednesday morning. And then we've got a couple of these. This is an order, which he's asked for the second one. Did a little bit darker of a belly. This is for Steve going out. Love this pattern of crawl in the springtime. Love, love, love. Ooh. 